We have an objective on this lesson. An objective is to solve the inequality before us and graph it. So before we proceed with this, there are some terms you need to be familiar with in inequality. So what are these terms? When the sign is like this, it means less than. When it is like this, it means less than or equal to. When it is like this, it means greater than. And when it is like this, it means greater than or equal to. And since the sign is like this, it now means it is less than or what equal to. So let's proceed. The question before us is 5x minus 1 over 3 minus 1 minus 2x over 5 is less than or equal to 8 plus x over 1. The LCM from here is 15. 3 and 15 is 5. 5 we multiply this, we have it as 5x minus 1. Okay? Uh, minus 5 and 15 is 3. 3 we multiply this, we have it as 3 brackets 1 minus 2x is less than or equal to 8 plus x over 1. Now let's open up. 5 times 5x is 25x. 5 times negative 1 is minus 5. Negative 5. Minus 3 times 1 is what? Negative 3. Minus 3 uh, multiplied by uh, minus 2x. This gives us positive 6x. Is less than or equal to 8 plus x over 1. And remember that all this is under what? 15. Alright, now let's combine like things from here. So we have it as 25x, okay? Now we're going to bring this 6x here, plus 6x minus 5 minus 3 over 15 is less than or equal to 8 plus x over what? 1. 25x plus 6x, that has to give us what? Uh, 31x uh, minus 5 minus 3 will give us a negative 8 over what? 15 is less than or equal to 8 plus x over 1. Let's cross multiply. This we multiply 1. We are left with 31x okay, minus 8. Any number that multiplies 1 is the same. Then 15 we multiply this. We have it as is less than or equal to 15 in two brackets. Uh, 8 plus what? Plus x. Leaving us with 31x minus 8 is less than or equal to. Open up. 15 times 8 is 120 plus 15 times x is 15x. Alright, now let's move the x terms to where they are, to themselves. Combine like terms. Plus 15x will come here to meet that 1x. As it's positive here, it becomes negative. So we have 31x minus 15x is less than or equal to 120. Move negative 8 to the other side. As it's negative here, it becomes positive plus 8. 31x minus 15x, this has to give us 16x is less than or equal to 128. The last thing we do is that we divide both sides by 16. So that the value of x will be less than or equal to what? 8. We've been able to solve this uh, problem. Now, it remains to graph. The question says we should graph. And remember, based on the number line, uh, this is 0. Every term at the left hand side, every term at the left hand side is negative. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Now, on the positive side, every term on the positive side, every term on the right hand side is positive. So right now, what I just need is positive 8. If this was negative 8, I will sketch negative 8 here. But this is positive 8. X is less than or equal to positive 8. So I just need to fix in my 8 here. Now, I will then do what? Shade to the what? Remember, less than simply means left hand side. Because of x is less than or equal to 8, I will shade to the left. And because of it is equal to, I will need to shade my line. If it was not equal to, I won't shade. I will only come up like this. I will only come up like this and shade to the left. That is all. If it was not equal to. But because of it is equal to, I will then shade here. So this is the graph. So the graph of, this is exactly what it is. x is less than or equal to 8. So you shade to the left. If it was not equal to, you won't shade here. You won't shade here. Alright, so this is how the graph of this uh, problem. So I hope this video was really helpful to you. If it was, smash the subscribe button, leave a like on this video and share this video. I really appreciate that. So I'm going to see you on the next video. Thanks so much for being here.